So the Clinton family has decided to come together to help tank Hillary's campaign as a family by attacking Bernie Sanders. Now, I say that, you know, they're tanking Hillary's campaign by attacking Bernie Sanders because when you do that, it backfires. Every single time, every attack that Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea has done has backfired tremendously, but yet they still continue to do it. Now, this isn't because Bernie Sanders is this god and, you know, he's above criticism. It's because political science studies have shown that we don't like political attack ads. Whenever you do that, you delegitimize yourself. That's the reason why Bernie Sanders doesn't attack Hillary Clinton. Now, Hillary bros will contest me on that statement, but I'll get to that in the end. So, I want to talk about these attacks. So, I'm going to go ahead and let Bill go first. Mysterious that there are a lot of people that say, well, the Republican Party rewarded the Tea Party. Just tell people what they want to hear, move them to the right, and we'll be rewarded, except they didn't get anything done. Then that's going on now in our party. If you don't deal with the fact that we are too politically polarized and we keep rewarding people who tell us things they know they can't do because it pushes our hot buttons, we can't go forward together. So he's effectively comparing progressives to the Tea Party, the bigoted, homophobic, xenophobic, and racist wing of the Republican Party. You're comparing us to that, the most progressive people in the party. To them? Wow. I mean, this, this is a really interesting electoral strategy. And think about how pretentious this sounds. Oh, Bernie's pushing all their hot buttons by telling them everything that they want to hear. Really, Bill? Because Hillary Clinton is telling us what we want to hear as well, right? The problem is that we just don't believe her. We believe Bernie Sanders for good reason, but we don't believe Hillary Clinton. For example, when she states that she's going to reign in Wall Street, but won't reinstate Glass-Steagall and won't break up the big banks, uh, and uh, is taking money from them. So of course she's telling us what we want to hear, but the problem is that we don't believe her, and you're mad about that, because we have reason not to believe her, but that's not our fault, that's your wife's fault. Do a better job convincing us. Give the money that you took from Wall Street back. Now think about how bad of an electoral strategy this is. He's basically spitting in all of our faces and then expecting us to come back and support Hillary come November. Bill, I've got really bad news for you, but Hillary Clinton still has to earn my vote. She hasn't done that yet, so it's not just going to be the case that we're going to roll over if Hillary Clinton gets the nomination in this disaster scenario if that comes to fruition somehow. Uh, we're not going to roll over immediately and just pledge our support to her. You still have to earn our votes. You have to gain our trust back because you lost that. You've been doing a really shitty job at not pissing us off. And you've been, you've been just actually, uh, not only just, you know, spitting on our faces, you've been poking us and prodding us this entire time, not only attacking Bernie Sanders, but attacking his supporters, calling his supporters sexist, calling us Tea Party right-wing idiots, basically. So don't think that we're just going to automatically support Hillary come November. In fact, I think quite the opposite is going to happen. She's actually a liability because you've pissed off a lot of people and this is why you lost in 2008, but I guess you don't learn your lesson. And furthermore, when it comes to who's closer to the Tea Party, let's see, was it progressives that supported your idiotic three strikes policy bill? Was it progressives that supported your homophobic don't ask, don't tell? and Doma bills? I don't think so. We were against that. So I think that that type of bigotry is more in line with what Tea Partiers want. Because guess what? When you pass Doma, Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and these three strikes crime bills that lock up African Americans and Latinos, they were applauding. They were excited about that bill. So you don't get to say that we're like the Tea Party when your policies more closely resemble what they want. So give me a break. Terrible, terrible attack from Bill Clinton, a very disingenuous, disgusting president who betrayed the Democratic Party and all of their core values. So Bill, if you really want Hillary to win, here's some advice. Don't ever, ever attack the supporters. You can attack the candidate, that's still not good for you, but if you attack their supporters, that's the most dumbest strategy I've ever seen. But I want to get to Chelsea Clinton. So uh, Chelsea says that Bernie Sanders' proposal to end mass incarceration in the U.S. is worrying and insinuated that her mother's rival does not understand what is possible to achieve in government. She replied that Senator Sanders advocated the end of mass incarceration, aiming for the U.S. to no longer be the country with the highest number of people in jail by the end of the first term in 2020. But his plan worried her. Chelsea Clinton said the goal was not achievable, however, as the majority of inmates are held at 
state, not federal prisons. We are not electing a king. We are electing a president, insisted Miss Clinton. We need someone who understands what they have to do in the job as president, but also in partnership with Congress, governors, and mayors. So I'll just point out that the we elected a president, not a king line is something that the Republicans use against President Obama all the time. Uh, and furthermore, this is a really odd attack on uh, Bernie Sanders from Chelsea Clinton, considering the fact that when you compare uh, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton's racial justice reform plans, they're nearly identical. Bernie Sanders takes it a step further because he actually calls for demilitarization of the police, which Hillary Clinton does not do, but I mean in actuality, they're very, very similar. So if both of their criminal justice reform platforms are very similar, why is it that your mom's is more pragmatic than Bernie's? I mean, we're electing a president, not a queen, right, Chelsea? Oh, okay, it's probably because, you know, your mom can actually get things done. She's a progressive that likes to get things done uh, because the Republicans love Hillary Clinton. They've demonstrated over the last four years, you know, with Benghazi and whatnot. You know, they love Hillary. They can't wait for a Hillary presidency, right? No, that's not the case. Uh, they hate your mom, okay? And for all the wrong reasons. Now, I wanna get to um, this charge from Hillary bros that I'm always hit with. They say, look, you claim that Hillary Clinton is running a dirty campaign, which she objectively is doing. That's why she lost in 2008 and she's doing it again. Uh, but yeah, she's running a dirty campaign. Uh, and they'll say, but look, Bernie Sanders attacks Hillary Clinton all the time. He, he claims that she's taking money from Wall Street. The fact that she takes money from Wall Street is not an attack, it's just a fact. Now, if you think that that is an attack, well, then you're basically agreeing with the initial criticism in the first place. You're agreeing that, well, Bernie Sanders, don't point out that Hillary Clinton takes money from Wall Street. That's an attack. How is that an attack? He's literally just stating a fact. A fact is not an attack. An attack would be something that's disingenuous, like Hillary Clinton, how she lies about Bernie Sanders' uh, universal health care plan and how, uh, you know, uh, Chelsea is here is lying about his plan to end mass incarceration. She thinks it's worrying, which ending mass incarceration is not worrying. I think that brings us closer to democracy. Hillary Clinton and her family is proven that they want to play dirty. They're ruthless. They're going to do what it takes. They'll slander Bernie Sanders. They'll fight him to the, you know, to the death. So Hillary Clinton has proven that she's going to run a dirty campaign. She's going to slander Bernie Sanders left and right. She's going to attack him every day. But you know what? It makes me mad. But at the end of the day, this is good for Bernie Sanders because the more they attack Bernie Sanders, the more popular he gets. They're scared. That's why they're doing it. But you know what? Keep it up because it's not working for you. It's actually working really well in Bernie Sanders' favor. Thanks for watching The Humanist Report. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at humanistreport.com.